after I was done with my general element drawing. Once again, if you have not made attempt to study general element drawing or you, you don't even know how to go about it or you, you don't even know what I call that, you can use my video on this channel. The link is in the description of this present video you are seeing how to generate a general arrangement drawing. Right, quickly, what I want to do next is to um, look out for my product structure. Then I'd, I'll do that so that we can begin our design like that. Right, so if you're joining us for the first time, you're making contact with Joshua the designer for the first time, I encourage you to like this video and subscribe to this channel. This is where you get the best of structural engineering um, content and you get transformed on all of our releases. All right, so you want to subscribe and share with your colleagues that you get better. All right, so um, without wasting our time, we have um, the product structure already. Then I'm creating a new project. And this project, I call it tutorial. tutorial all right so you can either use um, any of these codes that apply to your present region right and um, you can use projects that you have already um, brought this practice a code of practice into them so if either you use all this afresh as a new um, template or you might load them from a project that you have already customized with these codes or other settings, right? So I, I want to apply that because I've I'd already used it one time ago, then um, I'm using it once again, right? So having done that, you have a fresh product structure template and environment such as this, right? So this is our I do my thing there are different ways you can go about your job and um, what we are going to be using here is a little bit advanced because um, once you're designing your project and you discover that it might give you you need to work with your timing also such that you are producing your job in a very um, short time frame right so you want to adopt every every fast means possible Right, and that's why we want to export our external reference drawing to product structure instead of drawing all that we have to draw afresh. You understand? So, having um, obtained my general arrangement drawing, like I told you, what I want to do with all these things is that I want to import them right to product structure. All right, so I can easily do that here by converting this to. Um, a DXF file, right? Or you may create a new document, you know, you create a new document and convert to, to a DXF file. All right. So to be sure that we are good to go, what I'll do now is I'll just copy what we have there, GA, just copy your GA here into a new template that you just created i just created these anyway so you just paste it in now having done this you can now save as a dxf file because that's what we want to um, use to import into product structure right so we do this simply now we have done that we can now close this you can close the import file all right now we're going back to product structure to import this to product structure there are about two um two ways you can do that all right but let's just um, stick to one pattern so that um you master that then in other attempts we can bring in the other way out right clicking the external reference drawing such as you can see right now you have a pop-up box story reference drawing and all I did was to add the structure the um, general element drawing that I just converted to DXF so you just have to find where exactly you 
you have all right just locate the file just find where you locate the file and it has to be this import right import the excel file all right so once you've done this you want to activate the view and once you activate the view it brings that drawing as a picture all right and um you can begin to import the components like the column and the axis right but what i want to do now is i want to put the axis and the columns and the beams myself right so that i'll be able to carry along the beginners along the line but for many of us who uh, have been around you you know how to do this but if you if you do not know i want to have that i also have the video on my channel how to import drawing from autocad to product structure the link also is in the description of this video you're seeing so you can use that and check that up get yourself braced up and let's move together right so i've done this and that's okay for me now you discover that we have just two stories here story zero and story one i have all of my floors import already up to the roof there's four of them um but they all are on the single floor then i want to show you how i'm going to apply this appropriately um so you know uh, before you engage any construction or design process um, especially when it comes to building complete building you want to be sure of what foundation you're designing for and um, the condition of the soil right um, which should be made informed or made known by the geotechnical investigation right so you have to have um, an awareness of the soil conditions and what exactly you're designing for because it's important in your application here also now in this design we'll be using a raft foundation right and we have results from the geotechnical investigation right and um, i'll be showing you information of, about that maybe i do not know maybe in this present video but somehow i'll be showing you along the line of this series so let's get to work quickly right um these stories now like i told you i have three stories and i have four floors right so the three stories will be the four stories now that i have the story zero which represent the ground floor story one representing the um the first floor story two representing the pent floor and story four representing the roof right so that's how we're going to engage um our design very simple story zero representing the ground floor story one representing the first floor story two representing the pent floor and story three representing the roof right so let's let's get going right click on the story then edit story once you edit story you can see that you only have the story information the information for one story so it means that you only have the ground floor to first floor that's the meaning here the height that is provided is just for one single floor even though you have two stories did you see that all right so i just came here to show you what you want to do now is to indicate how many stories you would have so you have to go to insert story now you're going to indicate to product structure that you are having three stories right which in all when we put it together would have four floors right or four levels any which way you want to call it now i go back to my architecture because there's something that i really need to see here and um, i would like you to pay attention also you need to check through the architecture and find what is the height of different um, stories so that you can relate accordingly in your design now looking at this now you can dis you discover that i have the ground floor I have the first floor paint floor i have a ceiling floor then i have the building height on all right because there's another short level after the level four right so in your application you, mu you must understand what exactly is going on in that place so that you can put it appropriately right so our own major concern is to find out the floor height and which you see that this first floor or which is the level two first floor which is the level two 
is at um, level 4050 from the ground floor and the ground floor is also elevated at 415 millimeters above the natural ground level right so to apply that you just have to find what is the story difference which is 3.6 meters that's for the first floor for the second floor we have the same also 3.6 meters and for the um, ceiling level which should be the, um, where you have the roof beams before you have the little parapet to form the total building height so that's going to be 3.3 now let's get to work right so we go back to as edit story the first one like we saw in the architectural drawing will have 3.6 meters the second one also we have 3.6 meters and the third floor height we have 3.3 meters all right so we want to place descriptions for all these stories so that um, we'll be able to have um, a, uh, it will be relatable in application so our story one forms my first floor you can name your story this way story two forms my um, paint floor right and story three forms my roof level or well, they call it ceiling level in the architecture but you know what it is when you're designing now because of the information i have from my soil report right uh, which i'll show you in the next video so uh, do well to hang around the foundation depth there is an information given by the geotechnical engineer of which i'll show to you how you have to know how to interpret geotechnical reports so that you'll not be misinterpreting informations and you'll not cause a very great damage to your structure and the people um, that are the occupants or that will be the occupants in the nearest uh, time frame right so we have some information that guarantee us that we would use a depth of 1.2 meters for the foundation depth right so and i'll be showing you why in the next video relating you with the soil report i got for this for this project in particular so that you can relate with, together with me all right so having done this we are good to go you can use okay then we can begin to relate with our imports.